of the big arguments of uh, uh, our opponents uh, was that creation is religion, um, and so it should not be taught in science classes. Um, on this point, we would agree with our opposition, um, but we affirm the necessity of a little section of every science class to be devoted to things that are not actually science, to philosophy and religion, because um, we argue that science, while it does not teach that there is, there is no God, um, it does not teach that, but it does tend to imply that. It gives that impression to students. When you don't say something about something, it's easy um, to think that that something's not there. Um, so we, um, in order to combat that impression, we suggest that the beginning of every science class, before you actually get to the science, um, part of the course, um, the teachers discuss the, the definition of science and the scope of science, and then discuss um, the different views of the ultimate origins of the universe. <clears throat> so as to um, offset the impression that science leaves that there is no God and that matter has, is, has, is, has always existed. Um, I think even um, my opponents even quoted someone who called creation science a pseudoscience. And with that, we would tend to agree because creation is not science. They're two words that even go together. Creation is a truth that exists on a higher level than science does. Every, nothing that science will ever say could ever threaten what we believe, can never threaten our faith, and will never threaten our, our view that God created the universe. This, our proposal does not put creation against evolution. It does not put them to um, opposition. Rather, it exposes them both as two different truths or possibilities of truths that exist on different levels that do not conflict with one another or, can, or condone um, uh, the other. Thank you.